So I've been having trouble. Uh, let me turn this stereo off. Finding a video and info easily accessible about doing the timing on a Polaris Razor 170 engine. I had a uh, water fill the carburetor and I had to take all the head off and clean everything and make sure I didn't need new piston and rings. So going back together, um, I figured I'd make a video on just setting the timing with the camshaft and the crank. Um, so yeah, we'll just do a quick little short video on this. Uh, so here we go. So we got the cylinder head. Over here is where your fan is. And right above that, you'll see this little flathead plug. I broke everything loose already, but if you have trouble getting these out, mine was stuck. What I did is I put a little uh, um, penetrating oil and then took this little micro torch and just gently heat around the case on the around the bolt just to warm it up a little bit expand the metal around it and then i uh took a screwdriver just gently tapped it and you'll see it will pop it loose otherwise if you just keep trying to turn it with a screwdriver it ends up just stripping out that flathead So you just pop that out. You get a flashlight. You can see down in there. Spin it around. You'll see your mark. Try to focus this in. Sorry, it's paying the ass to get it to where you can see it. All right, there is the mark. Good error. So that's what you'll be aligning with. All right, you go ahead, I'll pop this valve cover off. Set you down. Excuse me for the shaky camera. I went ahead and popped all this loose. I just figured I'd make a video. So in here, on your cam gear, you'll have two lines. which are right here and right here. There you go. You can see those little straight line dents. Those 
need to be lined up with your uh, top of your head. So what you want to do is get those lined up straight. see it there from the side there we go so yeah you'd want to get those lined up flush and then you make sure your cranks in the right position which by just guessing it looks like I already got mine set Oh, in here to line the crank up. So you have your little line on your crank, or on your uh, flywheel, I'm sorry. If you look over here, you want to line it up with this little line right here. Be in the threads where your cap sits. So you line that up. Line your line up here, and then make sure you're good over here, and you're ready to go, reassemble. You won't have any problem striking one of your valves with your piston. And if you have to adjust your timing chain, All you gotta do is pull your four bolts off. One, two, three, four. This whole assembly will come off and then you basically just roll your cam to the side and you can slip a tooth on the chain. If you wanna hang tight, I'm gonna do it. This mine's off a tooth, I think. All right, got it pulled out. This is your valve rocker assembly. And there's an E and an X. Those always face the bottom of the motor. But just remember which way that comes off because they can go back on both ways. It'll fit back on there. To slip a tooth on the chain, you just kind of tilt your cam to the side. That's simple.
All right, so right there. You can see the mark. Mark there on the crank is lined up with the notch on the threads. You come over here and look. That's what it'll look like if you're a tooth off. You can see the line here. You can't see it down here. So that's how I know I need to slip a tooth backwards and bring it to where it looks like that. To where you can see both lines. That pretty much does it. Once you get done lining that up, you know, torque your bolts back down and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up. Sorry about the crappy video and see ya.